Hi, I have been asked for so many times that I would uh, do a tutorial video about how I use these mediums to create a vintage look in my journals, like, um, you know, these layers of colors, uh, how I create them, that um, I decided to show you um, how simple it actually is. I prepared uh, the spread um, to the point I started using the uh, paints and crayons so that you can immediately see how it works or at least how I do it. You can do it uh, in different way, of course. So I in these uh, journals, I use a lot uh, gesso and then um, Finneper and Primo Marketing um, acrylic paints and then Ranger and Tim Holtz crayons. I show you in a moment. Uh, but as you can see, it's quite simple actually. Uh, there are not many colors just soft ones that will blend nicely uh, together and these are really simple to make so let's get started first uh, I always um, use a bit of distress ink with uh, all the edges of papers I put my to my uh, journals I love uh, Tim Holtz's Distress Ink, uh, especially the Walnut Stain. That's my fifth uh, ink pad going. So you can understand, I really love it. I go all the edges of each and every uh, paper I will glue to my journal because that way um, they blend um, much more nicely and easily to the page than if they are um, completely white the edges and that that way it's not that um, strict how you cut the edges because you can always uh, dye the uh, white parts but I have done it with all the layers I have put. Um, there's a um, print pa uh, the, the page, ten, ten there is a, an old uh, vintage, vintage book uh, page, and then there is a um, part of um, an old uh, invoice. And that uh, that way, there are much more interesting layers there than just one um, in the page. And when I um, kind of get accents to the pages, uh, they will um, really stand out nicely. Usually, I start first with gesso, but I will show you now. Uh, how can how you can do it without gesso and then with gesso and let's start it without i love these um tim holtz crayons because they are really easy to use um, and you don't need water you don't don't need anything um, kind of messy if uh, that's what you want to avoid with your crafting so i use a lot of um, old paper, frayed burlap and walnut stain. These are my favorite colors and I usually start with uh, the walnut stain because it's uh, the strongest color and then I blend it with uh, softer colors. I just do it like this. I go with the edges and blend it with my finger like this so it's you can all already see how simple it is just a bit of crayon 
to the paper edges and that alone makes all the difference in the page, do you think? Okay, like this, apart from... Okay, so then um, I can choose the other colors if I want to add some more depth to the layers, like this. And even here and there too. And uh, then the softest color old paper in, in, in this case. This, uh, this is so light colors that it um, doesn't actually bring much else than just a bit of softness into the mix. Okay, and this is a part you can easily skip. I like to blend the colors a bit with um, brush and water because these are water actuated crayons and this is my <clears throat> secret weapon baby wipes I use them a lot uh, to clean my fingers but also you know um, in my crafting because uh, these are not as uh, absorbing as um, a, the kitchen towels or 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 toilet paper or or, or something that squeezed um, kind of the water out of the paper. This just gently um, spreads them um, into the paper and some to the baby wipes too, but. Uh, it I I love I love it, and then when this one is ready, you can use a heater tool, or if you are a patient, mindful uh, person, you can just wait. Uh, it it's really quick to try, and then I could leave it like this, but. Um, now, I think I use, uh, use gesso so that you can see how uh, it can change the look. So, I usually make sure that the gesso is quite dry. Oh my, there's something pink <clears throat> from my girl's last crafting session. I actually don't like that much pink in just this paper. Okay. Uh, I do this um, because I want to add uh, acrylic paints to the page and these are quite um, how can I call it uh, you know dry papers in a way that I lost the English word you know uh, they absor absorb all the water immediately and then it's there and you can um, cannot uh, change it if even if you want to so Oh no, it's pink. Nice. Well, a little bit of pink doesn't hurt anyone. So I need to change the brush. I take this bigger one. So I just uh, 
tiny, tiny amount of, I guess so, to the page. We'll kind of seal it so you can use uh, paints more freely. And usually I also go over with the Um, pictures to print so that uh, they all blend together but you don't need to uh, uh, use gesso I just find it uh, kind of huh, messy. kind of more secure uh, way of making sure that um, I'm not going to, to destroy the page when I use the acrylic paints. I can safely play uh, a bit and be sure that the page doesn't, page doesn't um, absorb it uh, to color immediately uh, uh, or um, get, you know, crumbled or even rip a little. Okay. So that's the so part. Hold on. I quickly, you don't need to do it, but I just want to, it to be drier. And then I will add some colors. I show you which one I use. You don't need to uh, this much paints, but uh, this is a mix I find quite irresistible because uh, these are the shades that uh, works just perfectly well with, you know, these crayons I used and also in vintage coloring. So it's um, Pinnaber and uh, Prima Impasto acrylic paint, linen, burlap, peach black, and dark chocolate. And then I put just a tiny bit. Actually, uh, you don't need as much as I put in here, but I don't want to add them on the go. Okay. And now I will add two more precious gems I have used lately a lot. Liquid acrylics by Finnebear and Primo Marketing. Burnt sienna and umber are the ones I I'm finding really lovely uh, to go with these other shades I use and I know there are there is uh, this uh, liquid color fluid medium that uh, is supposed to be used with these colors but as, as I plant them into the acrylic paints I don't mind using the medium so Take a brush and start playing. I take a, just a tiny bit of each color and start wor working with a shade I want uh, to start with. Okay. This is a quite nice base. Then I start with the edges again. Uh, I use a lot of water uh, in these um, paints so that I can be sure they don't dry immediately. So I simply go all the edges like this. 
and use the famous paper wipes to blend it together. And as you can see, it's it's already with so um, little effort looks uh, completely different from the ones here and there. And I go. I forgot to take a sorry, a paper to protect the sheets below. Okay, like this. I want to go around the pages, and then uh, so that uh, not every single um, brush. Um, not ev ev every place looks the same. I might put some darker shades here and there, and then go a little with like with the baby wipe like like this, or just you know take even more stronger color. I love the fluid colors because they they are quite uh, uh, bright and clear sage. I might just go for really dark shades on top and then, you know, let it drop a bit and then Use the baby wipe to get the look I want uh, to have. Then and if you are um, strongly against the baby wipe, you can uh, use just water or kitchen towels. But I think you will find them quite handy in more white than one because then it's also easy to clean your fingers okay i think you got my point already that with a blend of um colors that goes well together going around the edges is really really easy and it doesn't take that long you know maybe 10 minutes to go this far okay and you can see there uh, or maybe not but there is the crayons um, somewhere there because if i if i put it right there, like this, not this so, just water. You see, it doesn't have the strong line this has because here's the crayons behind the acrylic paints. So that's why I if I want the strong lines, I want to use these, these around all the edges. And you can choose uh, to uh, put the crayons on top of the prints or uh, underneath, so uh, the effect will look a bit different. And if the paper is a bit uh, moist but the crayons will blend really really easily okay let's put there too and then I will add more paint and as you can see 
it's immediately I changed to look. But you need to test um, how you would like to your pages to look like. So you might uh, want different colors uh, entirely, maybe stronger ones, maybe brighter ones. And maybe you want to uh, blend it more together, not them to pop out like this. Uh, but you can test and see what are the effects you are after and find a way to do it. And remember one thing. This is paper only. Uh, you can't go wrong. You can. Um, you can obviously um, make something you are not happy with at first, but then think that um, it's a learning process. Next time you will uh, know what. A better what not to do or what to do and find solutions and so on and enjoy because this is fun and it's not scary even if I have a brush water and paint as you can see almost clear fingers not very very a messy table and it's done you can see it, it, it isn't hard, it isn't complicated, it's just really, really fun and satisfying to see how it all look. Okay, uh, I will show you now one more uh, thing, because sometimes I want the paints to be softer and then I add queso on top of it all. But uh, for that, I need the page to be completely dry because otherwise the gesso would just blend into the colors and even it's really nice sometimes. That's not the look I'm after at the moment. So, just uh, let's take this one. So I will add gesso on top, maybe just spread it with my finger a bit. And you see there is softness there that comes with using gesso. It's, it's the one um, mixed medium, I would recommend you to choose if you are willing to try with one thing. There is a plenty you can do with. We just guess so. Okay, now, and sometimes, uh, sometimes I use white acrylic paint to make sprinkles. But I so you know I protect the girl from splashes like this. This will add some color and texture to the page too. So here it is. Finished. Um, page and it was the crayons ranger and uh, tim holtz crayons and um the you know finnever uh, acrylic paints and gesso i used as the mediums here. Now I really hope you uh, got inspired and 
first of all want to try and test your limits with these mediums and I wish you really um, inspiring moments with paints. Thank you for watching.